Hello guys, uh, Giggle Autumn here with a video on the top five biggest mistakes you're making in Deadlock. In this video, I will go over the most common mistakes I have noticed my randoms doing over multiple different games that I have, you know, decided this and hopefully with this advice that it can, you know, help your win rate go up, help you have a little bit more successful games. It might even be some things you don't even realize you're doing. We got each other's backs. All right, so the number five most common mistake that I've noticed that people do is when they have a crazy lead, like I dominated my lane. So I decided I was gonna rotate over to yellow because we had a good lead. We killed them multiple times, already took our guardian. So I rotated over to yellow to help my lash, help him take his guardian because why would I just stay an AFK on my Guardian when I could be rotating throughout the map to help my teammates get an advantage? So the rest of this match, I continued to rotate to each Guardian to help my teammates get their Guardian. And I've noticed that a lot of people aren't doing that. They they either stay, maybe try and push the Walker, which is it, that is a good move sometimes to push the Walker, but you have to decide what is the better play. So I spent this match rotating around, making sure I could help all the lanes get their guardians and give us an advantage to win the game. All right, so the fourth most common mistake that I see people making is waiting too long to buy. So early on, it is really important to make sure you're buying your items. I mean, you have 500, you should go buy your first 500 item. I mean, that could be the difference between you winning that next fight and not. So don't just sit there, let, you know, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand build up in your pocket, especially early laning stage. Um, especially if you have like no minions, just back up. I mean, nothing hurts. Go buy. Um, that one purchase, that one item can make all the difference with you winning that next fight. All right, another very common mistake that i see a lot of people making is not looking at their map enough i mean if this vendetta maybe was looking at her map she could have seen we had our wave pushed out i'm not being shown on the map which means i could either be coming to her or i'm going to the you know the lane um left of me so she needed to be on like high alert make sure i'm coming but maybe she did know but it's something that you just want to pay attention to. It gives you a lot of information on where the waves are, where um, the enemies are, where your teammates are, what's happening if you're losing objective. It is extremely important to constantly be looking at your map. And you want to make that as like a regular thing that you're always doing. Build it into your skill set. And it'll, it's insane the difference in your gameplay once you start really looking at your map. All right, the second biggest thing mistake that I think people make is not buying items to counter. I mean, this is a big issue. I mean, say you're going against a bebop in laning phase and you keep getting hooked in and you're just dying over and over again. If you would have decided to buy reactive barrier instead of buying any other item first, that lane would go significantly different and you probably would have saved yourself multiple deaths just by buying a counter item to who you're going against. Like you're going against a haze that keeps ulting you. You don't have an escape. You need to buy metal skin, right? Get ready, pop it, save yourself, get out. There's so many counter items to almost every character and learning those, even maybe asking your teammates when you're in a game, like, hey, like, what should I buy to counter this? If you're not sure, you know, say you're going against an Abrams and a Shiv and they're just healing like monsters you need to buy either decay you can buy healbane you can buy um toxic bullets there's like a lot of different options but you want to make sure you're buying these items to counter these characters so that you can actually win the game and knowing when to do those things will make all the difference in your games All right, so the number one biggest mistake that I have seen so many of my randoms do that have cost me so many gosh dang games is jungling while they're losing an objective. 
So they'll sit here, you know, this jungle, they have all these minions sitting here, bullying their stuff, just, just straight losing an objective for free. But they're like, you know what, I, I should jungle because that's gonna go away, right? No. What you need to be doing is clearing this wave, saving, you know, yourself, and then you can go over and jungle. You don't let stuff just get taken for free because you want a jungle. That jungle will still be there. It has cost me so many walkers, guardians, because my teammates just feel the need to jungle instead of looking at their map and realizing the objective right next to them is being taken. If you stop doing that, if you are doing that, it's going to be insane the games that you'll start winning. So, um, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any, uh, questions, make sure to leave some comments. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.